Hi everyone, Brad Drew here. Thanks for joining me for this little video. Uh, I want to share with you a really fun app called Color Thief. It's an app that lets you um, actually steal color from one image and put it in another image in a really random way that can be really fun. Um, before I go on, I just want to thank my friend Susan Ross for uh, reintroducing me to this app. I hadn't looked at it for a long time, but she was doing some really cool things with it. And um, I just, uh, I wanted to thank her for, um, uh, for showing me. So I, I want to bring over her, um, let's see, here we go. Just wanted to share her Instagram site with you. Um, she's in there as uh, all who roam are not lost. And Susan Ross, and these are some of the images that she's been doing, um, just really great work. And I think, I'm not sure exactly, but I think this image right here, um, and maybe this one, and possibly this one right here, these are some of the images that I think she has used Color Thief on to, um, to play with the color that she's uh, getting in these images, maybe even this one. Um, not sure 100%, but you can take a look at some of the images that she's got out here. She's just a really great photographer, with, uh, does a lot of really fun work. We've been photographing together for a couple of years and um, try and get out. We, we're in the same town, so it's nice to get out once in a while together. And uh, she's been really helpful with me, um, uh, helping me figure out some of these uh, technical things with broadcasting webinars and stuff. So I really appreciate uh, all her help. Anyway, thanks, Susan. And um, Thanks for uh, helping me with all this stuff, and especially for reintroducing me to um, Color Thief. So, come back to this. Um, what I'm going to do now, I'm, gonna, I'm using an iPhone uh, 11 Pro Max, uh, but this will work on, uh, on any iPhone. Unfortunately, there's not an Android corollary. It, there's nothing out there that I've found that does the same thing for an Android. If any of you know of something, let, let me know. I always like to share with my Android user friends, but um, this is a, an all, exclusively iPhone app as near as I can tell. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'll grab my phone here, and I'm going to go out. Um, the way I usually find my apps is to just swipe down in the center of the phone and bring up the search bar and type in the name of the app. In this case, I've used it recently, so I don't need to type it in. I can simply tap on Color Thief, and it's going to open up the app. It's, the interface looks like this. Um, you'll notice there's an image in here already. We've got two different parts of this. There's the image that you're going to affect with the color, and there are the images from which you're going to get the color that, that's going to go into the image above. And this is a really simple app. There's not a lot to it. You've got the image that you're going to affect and the images below that are going to affect it. And all I'm going to do is scroll across the different images that are showing up. These are images in my camera roll. And as I find different images, see how it's changing the color tone in the image above based on the image that's showing up below. Um, if I wanted to choose a different image to work with, one way to do that is to tap on the um, little uh, image icon here, and it takes you out to your camera roll where your albums and everything are. I'm going to go to my recents here. And I'll pick this image. This is a photograph made out at uh, Ellis Island a couple years ago. And now I can scroll through my images below and, whoops, and I can pick the different, just scrolling. The image that lands here in the center is the image that's going to affect the image in the top. So you can scroll through here and find, you know, like here's a really darker toned image. Um, here's one that's got some brighter colors in it. Here's a different tonality, another one. You can see how it's simply picking up even the black and white, then the tonality in the black and white in some of these infrared images. It's picking that up and applying it to the image above. Here's a more colorful image. So you can see what's happening. Um, when you find an image that you like, you simply tap on the screen at the, up here in the top. And you notice there's no, there's no share icon anywhere here, so you don't know really, how do you save it? So I'm gonna tap here on the image at the top, and it brings me out here. I see the whole image, and I see a share icon here that I can tap on, and I can scroll down a little bit, and here is a save image button, and I'm gonna tap on that, and now I've saved that image out to my camera roll. I can tap the back button to go back, and we can do another image. So what I'm gonna do now, um, I'm going to go back out here to the um, tap the image icon right up here at the top. And I'm going to go into my recents. And this time, 
I'm going to select an image. Um, well, let's start here. So this is this is an image that um, originally started out as a um, just a black and white image. Let me just show you here. Let me get out of that for a second, and I'm going to go out to my camera roll. This is the original image that I took. Um, this is just a, a wooded area in a park near my house in, in Indianapolis, uh, Ellenberger Park. Now, I love these old trees and everything, but the image was kind of eh, blah, didn't really do a lot for me. It's all green. Yeah, okay. But what I did was then um, I took it into uh, Color Thief and I played with it. So that is the green image. As I scroll across here, I'm going to go all the way over until I come to... Let's see, let me, let me do it this way. I'm going to go back in here and I'm going to find um, this image. So this is the image then that um, I ended up with um, and, that I liked. And now I'm choosing other images below to apply color to the above. Now there's a particular image that I want to use for the color because I've played with this and I know what it is. So now I'm going to go down here to the bottom, tap on the image icon here go into my recents and I'm going to go here to this image right here of the elephant here. I took this in my little desktop studio next to my computer and look at these incredible tones now that we're getting from this image being applied to this one. Now I could scroll and play with other possibilities here. Some of those are kind of cool, but the one I want to work with is this one. I love this. I think it's like just a really neat golden tones. So if I want to save that, how do I do that? I'm going to tap on the screen and there's the whole image I'm seeing now. And then I would go up here and tap on the share icon and go down here and tap save. And now it's put that in my camera roll. Let's go back to here once. I want to show you, you can always go out to the camera roll here and select different images that way, but you can also just swipe across and select these images um, by, by swiping across the frame this way. Um, let me see here if I can find, I want to get one that doesn't have the signature in it. There we go. So there's, there's this image right here. So I'm going to go ahead and tap on that image right here and I'm going to hit the share icon, scroll down here and tap save the image. And now I've got, I've got the image now in my camera roll. Well, because I can't do anything else to the image in Snapseed. You just, I mean, I'm sorry, in Color Thief. There, there aren't any tools that let you, let you do anything. So what I'm gonna do is go to my camera roll and I'm gonna grab that image and it's this one right here at the end of my camera roll. And I'm going to copy it and paste it into Snapseed where I can then play with these tones a little bit more. So I'm going to, I'm going to press my finger on the image and I get a little menu that says copy. I'm going to copy that to a clipboard. Now I'm going to go out to Snapseed. Here's Snapseed. Instead of opening Snapseed, I'm just going to press my finger on the icon and I'm going to paste the image. And once I do, it pops the image into Snapseed. So there's the image. I'm going to turn it sideways so you can see it a little larger. So now what I want to do is play with that tonality using some of the Snapseed tools. So the first thing I'm going to do is go over here to my tools, tap on tools, and open up Tune Image Palette. Now, by the way, a Snapseed is an app that many of you probably already have used. If you're new to it, if you go out to my uh, YouTube channel, you'll find a variety of different um, videos and some of them are about how to use Snapseed and, and create with it. So, um, so this is, uh, we're in the tune image palette of um, Snapseed. And so now we can, if we slide up and down here, these are all the different things I can affect. So I could brighten the image or darken it with the brightness slider. I could go down to um, saturation or contrast. I could bring the, the saturation up and make those colors even richer. I could go down to my highlights and play with those by dropping or increasing those in the image. I could play with the shadows, so I could lift the shadows and really bring out some of the detail in this tree and things like that. Or I can drop the shadows and make it a more ominous. I kind of like that, um, that look right there with, these, with the tree coming out a little bit. Um, next, I'll go down to warmth. And here I can play with, I can cool it off by going to the left and get, have it add some blue tones or I can go to the right 
and really um, make it more yellow and more rich that way. Um, let's go ahead and save that. And so now there's our image. There's where it was when we brought it in from Color Thief. And now we've just really enhanced that further. So the other thing I like to do is go into my tools in Snapseed here. And there are several different embellishing tools that I love. One is HDR Scape. Glamour Glow is another. Drama is cool. Vintage. Let's take a look at what happens when we choose HDR Scape. So there's HDR Scape, and it's automatically applying this uh, particular preset right here. You also have a nature preset to the left. You have a fine and you have a um, strong. Let's look at people. And there's the, there's the people um, setting. And if I slide my finger up and down, we've got filter strength, brightness, and saturation that we can adjust. So I could bring that filter strength up. I could drop it down a little bit. I think I like it a little bit lower. I could go into my brightness and I could play with that a little bit, kind of maybe tweak that. And then my saturation, I could either bring it up or drop it off. And you see how you, when you drop your saturation down, now you're playing with some more muted tones, which are really interesting too. So I'm going to leave it maybe somewhere, somewhere in there. And then I'm going to go ahead and commit to that with the check mark. So let's look at one other thing that I really like to use when I'm playing with these images like this. If I use the pencil here, go into my tools, there's another one called Glamour Glow that I think is really fun. Glamour Glow has five different presets here. And you can see as we move, move through these, it's, it changes a little bit with the tone. It changes, oops, it changes the um, color a little bit and so on. So look, you go through, you find the one you like. I kind of, I don't know, I like that one. I like that one. Let's go with this one right here. If you tap on that, now you can slide your finger up and down. You notice that's 100% glow. The saturation is at zero. So if I wanted, I could drop that. I could play with that saturation, maybe drop it down. I could play with the warmth, maybe warm it up. And I could come up here and drop my glow down a little bit. And bright. when I do that, it brightens the image somewhat. So there's before and there's after. You can see how we've changed the tone. We've added a little bit of magical glow to the image and it's just really cool. And I don't know what that's doing. Let's get that out of here. Uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, go away. I can't get to the button. There we go. Okay, so we're back to here, sorry about that. And so there's our image and I'm gonna go ahead and click the check mark and um, I can now save that image out to my, my desktop. So this is a way of, of taking um, Color Thief and doing some magical things with your image to change the color and then bringing it into Snapseed to, um, to further cultivate that, that color in, in ways that are just really fun. That's what I wanted to share with you today. I want to thank you for, um, for being part of this and um, listening to my video. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up and um, keep in mind that, you know, with, uh, with the pandemic going on, a lot of the trips that I've had planned for this year have been canceled. So I'm spending a lot more time at home. I'm doing a lot of webinars, a lot of one-on-one -on -one things, a lot of camera club presentations. Um, if you belong to a camera club and would like to have me address your group, with the topic of your choosing, let me know. Happy to do that. Um, been doing quite a few since mid-March. Um, and I'm also doing one-on-one -on -one training. So I have a number of different you know, packages, if you will, where you can get an hour or uh, a, a group of sessions where we can go, go into working on anything you want to work on. If it's in my repertoire, I will uh, I'll help you with it and share what I can. Um, so those are some things that you might be interested in, in looking at. Also, um, take a look at my YouTube channel where you found this video. Uh, there are a lot of how I did it videos out there that on different topics. Um, and consider subscribing to my newsletter. I try and put one out once a month and uh, you can always uh, unsubscribe if I bug you too much. But mostly what I try and share are uh, images um, that I've created using different tools for the iPhone, uh, as well as desktop software like some of the Topaz products and things like that. So um, the, the newsletter, I try and make it really useful for you um, with um, tips and uh, how-tos and discounts on products that I, that I uh, represent and things like that. So um, 
anyway, thank you very much for uh, for watching and for being here today. Um, let me know what you create with uh, with this uh, technique and the tool. Um, and uh, until next time, uh, be safe and uh, stay well and keep on creating. <laughs>